Looks like rain. Kind of high wind and rain coming down my chain and filling up my little pond. So I wonder sometimes what I should make videos about. And sometimes I think, well, I'm not going to do that because, you know, everybody knows that. But not everybody does. So what we got here is about a year or something old. Maybe not quite a year. And it's starting to make a ticky ticky noise and at night. And I, I like having a fan going because it keeps the house more stable in its uh, temperature, more even. And uh, so I'm going to take that lamp there down. I'm going to take this down and put it where that lamp is. Uh, that one, not the one over the sink. And I'm going to install the big hunter. So let's open this up and... Uh, I got my, see, I got my ladder ready and uh, working on some clocks. Seems like I work on a lot of clocks here lately. So uh, anyway, let's uh, open this up and uh, see about putting it up there. This is a big old fan and that's what you want in a small room so you can run it at low speed and you don't hear it and everything else. And as I say, if you have a rheostat on your light, you're using the same current, you're just making heat behind the wall. I realize that when this runs on low speed, it's just making heat. Uh, I understand that, but that's just part of it. I'm not going to run it on high speed because I might my house just might just levitate and fly away. So we don't want that because uh, this isn't a very big house. Got pretty floors though, don't it? I opened the box and I had that thing staring at me. Boy, it's kind of creepy. Ugh that uh, so anyway I've already taken some things out but what I generally do is I'll put that over there and I'll get this stuff out and I'll throw these millions of plastic bags and other waste uh, over in that thing and recycle it properly of course wire nuts uh, like you need any more of those huh and uh, maybe you do I collect them oh, more wire nuts I didn't think it came with a light kit but we'll soon see I hope it didn't I don't want one so, oh, there's the, the feet or the arms or the legs or appendages or whatever you want to call it. And then there's that. So let's familiarize ourselves and uh, with the destructions. Okay. It's, uh, it's this side. Okay. We don't want to get your sides mixed up. All right. So it looks like I'm going to need wire cutters. It's a very well, – look at all the extra wire I got. Use that in the Bonneville, huh? That much wire, I, don't, I probably don't need that much. But it's glad they gave you. You know, you could actually have to go, now that you think about it, up through the attic beam and wire to some other uh, remote box somewhere. So that's a good idea. Right? That's a lot of wire, but I'll use it on something. And I believe these things have multiple sides. Ugh. Well, of, of course they have multiple sides. I mean, they, but one side has a different, a different flavor, as it were. Let's open this up and see. Yeah, most things that exist have at least two sides. Okay. I've got most everything out of the box. This is, you might not believe it, but all these wires indicate that it is an electrical device. And uh, so I got everything out and sort of in its uh, place. Boy, you're talking about something. Woo. Put that in your toolbox and absorb a little moisture. And uh, don't go, whatever you do, don't go opening your your ceiling fan box and start eating stuff like this. Just don't do that. Crazy. Uh, so, I hadn't even got to this yet, but uh, here's your little function guide for your remote. So, be sure and hold on to that. I don't know if it comes with batteries. It's probably a pill battery of some kind. Let's see if it talks about that. Uh, don't say anything about the batteries. Well, there is a little... Uh, makes you feel better when they say Fabricao. But it still don't make you feel too good. So, uh, let's see. I have an idea about these. These are one side down. It says this side up. So, pretty obvious that's kind of ugly. Uh, but I have an idea about these fan blades. And I'm going to employ them and show you what I got in mind. So let's uh, let's just see. Whoa! I'm going to need a smaller screwdriver than that, huh? 
But uh, maybe I just ought not open this and just let it be and worry about it. Sort of like when your remote for your car goes out. Just don't worry about it till it happens. Okay, so I won't worry about that till it happens. So everything's out of the bag, uh, including the cat. And it is important to balance these things, but I'm going to try to balance these things before I put them on the fan. So we'll go into more of that, more of that later. So let's get this stuff. Uh, I got to get the other fan down. No, I got to go into that because that, that's. Uh, I just need a. Now the other thing you got to make sure of when you uh, let's put uh, this guy here first and get rid of him. Ugh, it's off-putting just looking at that. So we won't. So let's get the other fan down. And like I was about to say, you want to make sure that your box up there in the ceiling is to. Ooh, I had a little little pop out there. Okay, make sure your box on the ceiling. Now I'm pretty sure because I hung that one. But you kind of want to make sure that it's very, very secure. That guy just keeps popping up, doesn't he? Whew. You need two hands to get rid of that guy, don't you? So I just came back from the shop. I've been cleaning the floor, but it's, you know how it is. You start cleaning and then you, you got to keep cleaning. So I have this really wonderful scale. And we're going to put it on grams, okay? And we are going to weigh not only our blades, but also our arms or holders or whatever. Remember, these are just bump stops. Save these things. I've used those for various different things in time. And you get this balancing kit. And uh, so if you pre-balance it, uh, balancing will probably be easier when you get these stick on. Boy, how many millions of those have you got? Uh, I've got a whole drawer full of them, I think. There's lead weights. So I'm going to weigh these and these. These probably aren't so imperative, but, you know, you might as well do it right. It's, it's like balancing an engine. So let's just, uh, let's just, we got five blades. So uh, one, two, three, four five and we're going to separate these we're going to put arm and blade okay so let's just see what we get and we'll see how far off things are so this is blade number one and blade number one is 500 it's like watching torque test isn't it Ooh. okay 593 grams so we're going to put that back here and then let's see what the next one is. These things look to be extruded, so I'm sure they're, they're not balanced at the factory. Then there's no. Okay. And, whoa! They're balanced somewhere, aren't they? 593. Whoa! I am impressed. Okay. Could they get the extrusion process that perfect? Ooh, that one's off. 594. Well, I believe we'll muddle through that somehow. Oh, I am really, really deeply impressed by this so far. Let's hope this one doesn't go way off the reservation here. Well, 594. Good golly. Hmm. So should you put your little rubber things in right there before you weigh them? These little grommet babies here? Well, I don't know. We might do that. Seem to have the time today. I got to tell you, I am shocked. And, and happily so. Wow. And uh, let's, let's just grab one of these arms over here. And that one's 120. Now see, if these are off a little bit, you might can mix and match. And you know, if one's a little heavier, put it with the one that's a little lighter. And, and maybe just kind of save yourself a lot, of, a lot of grief in 120. Wow. It's like they all come off the same machine or something. Jeez. All right, let's go here. 
gum. I am just really impressed by this. Don't mind no attention to that earthing wire lying there, okay? Be sure and earth everything that you do, okay? Don't don't ever, ever go around that thing. You want to run that on your other leg or your box so you'll kick out in case you stick your tongue up in your ceiling fan. Those are all exactly the same. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that. So, well, don't worry about them babies. All right, so we're just going to put those there, and let's put our rubber pieces in there. I can't imagine that would make any difference, but we'll see if it does just for fun. But look at that. A variance over 10 pieces of point something nothing grams. That's margin of error when you carry three places. Okay, well, let's, let's put the little rubber bits in. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit up there. I'm going to read that book a little bit. And always, like I've said before, always read the instructions. It'll make things easier for you. And uh, so you know uh, those screws must hold in. Okay, well, I better go read the directions. I'm guessing. Stop guessing and start knowing. Well, you knew I wasn't going to be able to hold myself back. I had to know. And uh, so this remote has got the classic CR2032. If you get one of these, get the BR kind uh, or the B series. I might have one in here. They're a little bit better. They're actually computer, computer quality. There you go right there. The Panasonic BR2032, those are uh, better. Hate to be so uh, definitive. Well, I really don't hate to be so definitive. But the, this this is adequate for this. But uh, if you order these, if you order them in a three pack, check them with your meter, because inevitably, you know, not so much anymore. But they do kind of go bad on you. So there's this little tiny screw, and that goes in there, and you just push it in. When you take these things out, make sure you put them back right ways up, and then that goes like that, and then. You get the little happy clicky noise. I am somewhat surprised. I guess everybody's got enough faith in batteries now to uh, just put them in. Usually you have that little strip you've got to pull out or something like that. So uh, they just come ready to go. Very, very surprised. I think I had to put a battery in this one. This doesn't, well, this is that other fan. A horror, horror breeze and it takes that kind of that kind of battery there. So anyway, very surprised. I got this little kit. I'm going to talk about this. I got this little kit here for the house. Well, I wouldn't let this anywhere near my shop, but in the house, I don't know what the part number is. But I got that. It comes with all the different bits and the this and the magnet and the flex tool. Good enough for in the house. Nice to have a little tool kit and a tool drawer in the house. I have assembled... The blades, those screws bottom out, which is, well, those screws bottom out, which is nice. You don't have to worry about over-tightening. You have to worry about under-tightening a little bit. But uh, I assembled the rubber bits and the arms, and they're still within one gram. <laughs> so I just moved that one to there. I mean, you know, just do what we can. But, uh, yep. They, oh, those little rubber pieces popped out. So, uh just be mindful those could be in the in the bushings that go in here but uh yeah unbelievable i am i gotta tell you i just can't believe it hopefully gonna be getting some gravel here soon finish up the, the project outside and i can uh, oh there's the mail carrier okay let me go check the mail all oh, the dark days i guess that's true wherever you go but I can still see some soot up there from uh, when the fire happened on the old cow rod stove. So I got this down. Very simple. That's down. Uh, if you don't think your fan's dusty, it is. It's very dusty. So, so we can do our initials there if we wanted to, couldn't we? All right. So let's not let's not do that. So be sure and have this. And uh, instead of just pushing the dust around. You want to uh, spray that down and wipe it and then get rid of that pretty quick. 
I'm taking the opportunity to mop the house too while I'm at it. And uh, let's see about hanging that up. The uh, the thing is impressive. So I kind of pulled on that, and there are screws going sideways in that box, so it's going into a joint, a joist, a uh, rafter, whatever you want to call it, and this one does too. So it was set up well, at least in, in that respect. Okay, cool. Huh, I think that looks kind of stylish. I'm okay with that. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. This might go to the shop because this just has the LED fixture thing in it. I just might hang that somewhere. I got some wiring to do down there anyway. Some sort of uh, trim it up wiring after moving in and all. So let's see if this works. Well, I had it on. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Here's your light button. There's your light button. And there's... Oh, I don't like it in that direction. That's going up. Uh, so I gotta climb up there and reverse it. Well, at least it's working. There's your reverse button right there. I can almost reach it. But I'm not gonna do that. So... That looks okay. Now let's move to over there. I don't believe I'm going to have any issues. I did find in the book where it said you had to be so far away from stuff, but eh, that ain't stuff. That's just that. You know, that's going to be okay. Gravel's going to be here in a minute. And here comes somebody else. I really want to show this. I find this to be important. Uh, when you put this on here, before you start to screw it in, back screw it four or five times so when you screw it in you don't wind this up so tight uh, just sort of give it you know four or five turns backwards so when you come in you're not putting constant stress on this on when it goes down into the, the motor so just just before you screw it in turn it anti-clockwise and then clockwise and you'll get a lot of stress off those wires all right here they come This lady is one of the greatest expert truck drivers I've ever seen. She really knows her stuff. So I'm just going to set the camera down and uh, we'll see how they do it here. There they are. And I got a load down there and a load right here. I'm going to spread this out and I'll finally have a nice parking area. But uh, I'm not going to do this myself. I have people to do this, also known as Sean. <laughs> All right, guys, nice work. So this is going to be so much nicer. And I don't like cutting here anyway. I'm going to take that gravel all the way to the edge of the foundation also known as foam but don't tell anybody because of the siding thing and i'm going to take it all the way up under there and bring it over here and it's going to be it's going to be nice okay let's go back into the ceiling fan look at that feather isn't that cool i don't <laughs> somebody somebody might have got it but usually if a hawk gets one it makes a much bigger mess than that okay let's get back to the fan oh boy it's cool in here Breathable air. Okay, back to it. We are not bohemians here, and we're not going to have that ugly ring of, of ugliness up there. So I've still got some of this left, and I'm just going to touch up around there so when I put that up there, it will look, it'll look decent. I don't even know what this looks like. I hadn't, I hadn't messed with this in months, but we'll just, it's going to be painting the ceiling, okay? I think we got it. So see what it looks like in the end, I suppose. So we have the uh, this piece in. It's those screws with the lock washers on them. 
and then you'll plug this in. It's fairly obvious. There'll be a clip right here, but just match up your color codes. I don't know why they got tape on that. I guess they might want you to tape it somewhere. I don't know why you'd need to. And then we'll just simply, hopefully, simply, you know, put this in. And I guess you can figure out where you want your switch. I, I don't know. I don't know if it, which way it's going to go, so we'll just leave it there. And uh, those switches will be, switches, screws will be these uh, conical screws here. All right, so we've got, uh, where was I? Yeah, there we go. There's your wiring diagram for your controller. And uh, so you got to plug in the bottom, put the controller in, and all that other stuff. I learned something interesting about that thing, too. So uh, the controller, you just make sure everything's good. And I don't know what yours is going to be like, but basically black just powers the whole thing. And then there are three whites. you got your antenna and uh, your blue goes to blue, blue on blue, heartache to heartache. And then in a minute, I'll sort that out and put that in there. And we'll see what she looks like uh, all done up. So let's get this out in there a little tiny bit. But the one thing I would recommend that you do, other than move this stuff out of the way, is uh, just make sure... <laughs> I'm not going to do that anymore. Just make sure your antenna is out and around. I don't think it's you're going to be far enough away for that to be a problem. I don't see any uh, any other problems. So now you're going to go over to your uh, light switch here and switch it on. And nothing's smoking or sparking. So we're doing pretty good here. And then we're going to grab the remote and we're going to we're going to give her a hit here. Whoa, well, that moves pretty slow. Uh, let's give her another hit. Now, this is the on-off switch. So it's obviously working. And it's pointing down. I can already feel the air moving. <laughs> and it's barely moving. So, just so you know, that ought to keep the room pretty good there and keep my thermostat happy and all of that stuff. So there's my glass block shower back there I put in. Lost that video, had to rip out the old fiberglass tub and do all the tile work and all that. Don't be afraid, try it yourself. So I'm gonna just turn this off because I'm gonna go up there and kind of be messing with wires. So I did learn if you take off the back cover to do the battery, there's a pairing device here. So if you have trouble, call them first, of course. And, uh, but uh, if you have trouble with it, this speaking to the fan, then you might just try this button. I'm sure that it, uh, it does everything you need to be doing. I probably have gone too far in, uh, into this thing. But anyway, uh, don't, don't feel like you can, uh, you can get past calling them first. So uh, let's finish it up. And I'm going to just have a seat and have a drink and let that thing stop. Wow, what balance. I mean, it's been off for several minutes and it's still moving. Uh, just get the good stuff. A little whiff of ozone and happiness is yours. So let's see if I can get that controller fitted in there and uh, we'll, we'll do one last shot here. Ah, gravel. I'd go out there and start raking it, but I want to very badly, but... Not really that bad. Ooh, what's the wind speed at? Really windy out there. Seven miles an hour. I saw it at 14 earlier today. So it looks more windy than it is. I'm digging that thing. It looks like it's more... Oh, there we go. 11 miles an hour. All right. So I think I've got it painted the ceiling. Got that on there. You got to make sure you... There's a lot of wires in there. And I would just sort of... Uh, just sort of give it a little bit of a wiggle and make sure she's level as she can be. And uh, that, that, well, that looks pretty good to me. All right, that doesn't have to be too great. So let's, uh, 
Let's see what we got. We'll call this a done deal. Let's read the directions. I don't think there's any issues with balance, at least not on mine. So let's give it one last... No, it didn't do anything. Okay. And if it does, hopefully your circuit breaker will, will get you going. So let's hope that it's blowing downward. Look at that. I mean, that thing barely moves. It's probably better to get her going fast as you can immediately instead of burning your fan up. So I went up three speeds. I'm going to go down two. Boy, I can feel that. So, that's really nice. That is going to help tremendously. So uh, I want to tour my bathroom. I'll show you. First of all, This is one of my favorite little new gadgets here. Oh, it's going to flicker. But that's my little night light. It's, it's actually on constant, but you don't look at, see it that way. Isn't that cute? And then uh, there's, uh, I do the niche thing and uh, this thing. This bathroom was a disaster when I moved in here. It had that, I wish I had a picture of that still. I had the plastic insert tub and sliced it and have got it out of here, but you got to cut the water off. I did all the tile work. I have. I, I don't even want to tell you what I do about grout. And uh, so anyway, I, I made my little niche in there and uh, wired in a real nice controller. And I, I made a gravel, not gravel, but concrete bed. And it's going out of focus. And I did this glass block work. I love glass block. So I don't even have a curtain there. You don't really need one. And I inlaid me some tile right there. And there's my little Prefanestia. See the kitty cat messing on the dog's spot and they're all ticked off about it. So anyway, this, this is my little world. And uh, let's go back out here and see if she's still spinning. Yep. And that's what she looks like. I thought 60 inches was going to be probably just, just about right. I thought maybe a little big. 72, I'm sure, would have been way, way too much. So imagine that being bigger been sort of overwhelming and there's my more than 100 something year old homemade horseshoe i found and uh, hopefully that uh, i got it turned the right way to keep the luck in it and there's more glass block work i did there so and there's one of my favorite additions to the uh to the beauty of the room here my metabo air compressor i use up here sometimes so that's it Hopefully we'll get some gravel spread and I'll get back down to the Bonneville and I appreciate you watching and give me a thumbs up and hit the like button and I guess that's one and the same and subscribe and tell your friends and share and all that good stuff. Oh, I lost the video on my little clock too. That's my the old clock on the wall. So I built that in. I like built-in clocks. All right, and then that one over there. Must make sure that one works. I didn't really do that, did I? So... And there's a cow cow. Let's see what we got here. I guess I did check that at one point. I don't remember. It seems like two years ago. Okay. Well, that one's working too. So. All right. Well, turn off light. There you go. All right. So that's what it looks like in here now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.